One thing that I would suggest, but I don't want to complicate things too early, is that if I wanted to change the audio, how the audio sounds or the color of this clip, I would actually do that before I start cutting it up. Because now if I add a color to this, I'm going to have to go back and add a color to this one and to this one and to this one. So that is one thing that I try and make sure of to get the A-roll right first. But the audio was fine, okay, because I was using a microphone. But these options over here, which we haven't looked at yet, these are what I call kind of the six drawer tool cabinet. I imagine they're in a shed and the bottom drawer has all of these scale and positioning <laughs> tools. The second drawer up has all of my audio tools. The third drawer is for speed tools. Fourth drawer is for color fifth drawer is for transitions and sixth drawer is for graphics. So just to focus on the first drawer there now at the moment, if I wanted to be a little bit more centered here, I could scale up. I probably wouldn't scale up anything past 110%. That's the most I'll go without reducing the quality, but then I can kind of also move the image over a little bit. So now I'm a little bit more centered on the screen. So I'm okay with that there. I could also crop something and put an image next to me or behind me or to the left of me and push me right over if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted to have something like this and then uh, do the right, then I could put something else like text or images of horses or anything like that. So, but I don't want to do any of that. I just want to leave it as, as it is because what do they always say? Don't fix it in post. If there's something that you can get right during the production, get it right in the production. So I can leave scale alone in this image. In audio then, right, one of the main reasons that I love Rush so much is this reduced background noise filter. So what this filter tries to do is it tries to keep everything that's within the human voice frequency, which is a certain range. So, you know, frequency of, of audio is, is huge and expansive and then the human voice fits into a certain range. What it can do is it can remove frequencies that are higher or lower without it really affecting the human voice. But what happens is when you've got an audio like that, that kind of comes in and out of the human vocal tones, then it's also removing frequencies of your own voice. But I've seen this work so well when I was in a lab, some guy, we were just about to start recording, everything was quiet, right? Some guy walks in, presses the button and something goes, duh, 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 duh. and I was like, can you turn that off? And he's like, it's on a two hour cycle. And I was like, no. So I recorded anyway, thinking that it would be unusable, went and got another recording of the lady in a quiet office then afterwards, because I was like, we're not gonna be able to use that. I'll use this instead. But when I brought her audio in the lab, because the lab background was so lovely, I was like, I'm just gonna try it. Brought it in, pressed reduce background noise, messed around with the intensity, her voice came out perfect and the background noise completely vanished. So that can be a real godsend. Carry on to experiment number six, where we will investigate the effect of pH on new cell enzyme activity. Now I won't use it for this one, but I might click enhance speech. So that's where it's taking the female tones and kind of amplifying them a little bit more or making the female tones sound nicer. Now again, I should have done that to the clip before I started cutting it up because now I have to go into all of the different ones and, and do that. So it's more efficient if you do the kind of any audio adjustments or um, video adjustments that are going to be global for the entire clip before you start cutting it up. And I can also in change the volume of the clip. So if you've got one clip that you took in the kitchen and you're noticing that you're further away from the mic and it's actually quite low, and then you've got another one where you're projecting your voice, then you can try and match these audio levels after by messing around with this little one here. Let's take a look at speed now. So we'll listen to this at normal speed. There is a big difference between bad video and then I will just change it to say 108, but maintain audio pitched and see what this sounds like. There is a big difference between bad video, hardly noticeable, but it is actually faster. So let's boost it up to say 126. There is a big difference between bad video. It actually makes me more enjoyable to watch. <laughs> um, it's, it's more sped, speedy, uh, but I, I'll, I'll take it down a bit because I know I'll, I'll be looking at it then in a, in a week and be like, that's really weird. So I'll leave it at 110 safe for now. What's the full duration of my movie? Oh, I'm grand for duration. But if I was noticing that I needed to shorten the thing, then I probably would boost it up. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
And then another thing is color. So in the color option here, there are loads of presets that you can use. But as you can see, these presets are quite heavy. They're quite baked in. So the good thing is you can drop the intensity of the presets to make it half preset, half kind of normal. But what I usually prefer to do is click none, go into edit, and now I can mess around with the kind of the, the specific things that make up the color of the shot. So I might reduce the color temperature, increase the vibrance a bit, maybe increase the saturation so the purple comes out, maybe take the yellow out of my hair a little bit. And you know, I could do all these, these different things and then I can apply it to all clips if I want to. So I'll just click that for now. But for this middle one, actually what I want to do here is make this look worse than it is, right? Because this is me showing bad video. So I'll go into presets here now and go for, have a look through all of them. Yeah, that looks really bad. Magenta, low contrast. Yeah, let's try that. And I'm also going to go into the audio of this one and potentially like maybe just add these to make it sound really weird because I want the sound to be bad too. Bad video. Hi, my name is Judy and I am the founder of the Vid Academy. Those are just some of the effects that you might have.